Well, that didn't go well, but we can undo it. <laughs> How to undo with Mike Montgomery. That's me. Hi, my name is Mike Montgomery, and in this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to undo some of the most common DIY mistakes around the house. And first things first, let's talk tools. Here, we've got a basic homeowner's kit that can help you do just about anything you set your mind to. Let me show you what they are and how to use them. Stop, it's time for hammers. Now, I see a lot of people using hammers, and I see a lot of people using hammers the wrong way. So I'm here to show you the right way. Just like with boxing or baseball, if you swing as hard as you can, there's a good chance you're probably gonna miss. So my first tip is just to be controlled and accurate. That way, you get the best results possible. Once I know my nail has started and it's starting straight, I can start hitting it a little bit harder gradually each time. Satisfying. By far, the biggest problem that I see out of people when they try and remove nails is not supporting the back side of the hammer. You wanna make sure that the back side of the hammer, the striking head, is properly supported and use gradual, gentle pressure to remove the nail. If you do it right, your nail will still be straight and you can even use it again. There's all different types of paints and finishes to choose from depending on your project. Just be sure to get the right brush for the product that you're applying. You wanna make sure and hold your brush the right way, like this, Yay! not like this. Just remember, you'll always get more control out of your fingertips than you're gonna get out of the palm of your hand, just like writing with a pencil. And to avoid any unnecessary runs or drips, I always load my brush up and then scrape off any of the excess on the side of my container. And I guess now, all I need is something to paint. And next, we've got chisels and scrapers. And no, they are not the same thing. On one side, we've got the wood chisels, and they are for just that. You only wanna cut wood with these. Whenever you do, make sure and keep your hands as close to the handle, if not on it, as possible, and use equal downward and forward pressure for best results. Now, on the other side, we've got scrapers, and these are for literally everything else. From removing dirt and grime, to scraping away old paint, even removing tile and adhesives, these can do it all. Just remember, you can be rough with these, but be gentle with those. Classic screwdrivers. You're gonna wanna use these hand tools anytime you're working on a delicate task or you need a little bit more finesse. But if you're looking for more power, I would recommend picking up one of these. More power. This is a battery powered drill driver and it's actually the first power tool that I recommend to most new DIYers. So you've stripped your screw head and it won't come out. Don't worry, it's actually a really easy fix. All you need are some adjustable pliers like these. If there's enough of the screw head exposed, you can actually grab onto the outside of the head and then just rotate it out lefty-loosey just like you would with your drill or a screwdriver. And eventually it'll get loose enough that you can remove the rest of the screw by hand. And that's how to unscrew it. First, you're gonna need some cutting oil to lubricate your cut. That way you don't ruin your drill bit right away. Next, you're gonna get the proper size drill bit to create a cavity that the screw extractor is going to bite into. And finally, we can swap out the bit for the extractor and get this screw out of there. So now you're ready to do and undo just about anything. And that tool set of yours is no longer just for show. Be sure to click these links for more videos, hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.